Hi, so welcome back to my channel. So today I want to talk about how you know that you're growing um, based off three keys, right? And these are just some examples of how I know, how I knew that I grew and how I know that I'm growing because I don't do the things that I used to. Or for number one, like I don't respond the way that I used to respond. Now listen. <laughs> I used to be considered like a hothead or someone that holds grudges to the end of the world. And um, you know this stuff about yourself, but you don't want to do anything about it because you don't have to, right? But I had so many people that were close to me that kept on telling me, I know you're going to hold a grudge now. I know I'm not going to hear back from you. I know you're going to be mad. I know you're going to tell mommy. I know you're going to tell daddy. Uh, you know, like... You can hear stuff so much and you're just like, okay, wait, maybe I do need to mature. <laughs> maybe I do hold grudges. Maybe um, I should grow up. When you know that you don't freaking respond the way that you used to, my response was to hold a grudge. Be like, oh, you did me wrong? Okay, deuces. I will never talk to you again. I don't need to see you again. Go smell someone else's booty, you know? Um, and I would be like that with men um, that I've dated or even best friends or male or female co-workers. I didn't care. You could kick rocks and go kick some rocks with your two open, open toe shoes. Go jump somewhere else. Just leave me alone, right? But I realized being like that and, and always being so quick to cut someone off, to hold a grudge, wasn't getting me anywhere. Yes, I'm prosperous. Yes, I can do whatever I want to do. Yes, I can do and live my life the way I want to. But I realized you do need to have connections. You do need to give people some leeway. You do need to give second chances. Everybody doesn't deserve a second chance. But you're going to know within your spirit and your heart who does, right? And you're going to start to learn, I don't need to hold a grudge immediately. Maybe I can hear him out. Maybe I can hear her out. It doesn't have to be like automatic, but give yourself some time to think things through, to not be upset um, or to not be so heated about a situation and be like, okay, look, give me some space. I need a moment. Leave me alone before I cut you off. Okay. So anyways, this is how you knew you grew. You don't respond the same way. And for me, that was holding grudges. <laughs> Second, you get over things quickly. And so, uh, there was a time <laughs> I would never get over anything. And when I say I would never, I mean never. I would hold on to things to the ends of the world. And um, I would feel justified in doing that. I'm like, I'm a type of person who doesn't normally go out of their way to do people wrong. Um, so I'm not spiteful, I'm not hateful, I'm not filled with malice, right? I'm not a jealous person. But when I feel like I've been a good friend to somebody and they turned their back on me, um, I would just be like, okay, look, do you leave me alone and not get over the injustice done quickly. Now, sometimes people do stuff that's wrong and you gotta cut them off. But you gotta know when that's the right situation, the right time, right? So for me, like, I, I use this or know that I'm growing in situations when it comes to relationships, dating men. Um, it's very easy for me to get over things. Not something that's bad like uh, cheating on me, but to get over someone's attitude from having a bad day. Them maybe just acting out because things didn't go their way. I know it's not directed towards me, even though that energy can be directed towards me. I'm like, uh, okay. And I move on and be like, do you want something for dinner? Or are you going to sit there and sulk and look a baby? Um, and so I, I know that that is something called maturity. And it, it just happened for me. But I know that is something that is real. And I had to identify because so many people that I've dated or people that I know, mainly in the dating realm, were just like, I can't believe you can get over things so quickly. I don't know how you do it. I'm just like, because there's no point, number one, to hold a grudge. Number two, you're, we're wasting time. We only have a limited amount of time on earth and sometimes a limited amount of time with a person. So whether that's six months, six weeks, 60 years, it's still a limited amount of time, right? So why waste my time being mad? Why waste my time trying to analyze something that you did, what I know you're having a bad day or you're just a baby in general you was fine you was baby by your mom and your dad and you're just an infant child okay 
<laughs> that's how I knew that I grew up. Okay, so lastly, number three. This kind of goes hand in hand with number two, but you let things go easily. Like, let me tell you. <laughs> things used to get underneath my skin so quickly, so hard. Um, and, and people would say that I... I wore my feelings on my sleeves. Whatever that was mean. If you try to say that I show my feelings and emotions, then yeah, say that. Because um, that's true. But um, when I say that I used to let things get under my skin easily, and that's the truth. I, like, I would get easily bothered, easily upset that someone would do something to me. Because I'm like, why would you do that, right? Now I realize people are just haters. People are just envious. People are just jealous. People just wish they could be you. So I kind of remove myself from the situation and be like, look, my bad, shoddy. I like the stunt. If you're upset, take it to Jesus. You know, or if you're jealous or if you've got something to say or you keep rolling your eyes at me, it has nothing to do with me. It has everything to do with you. I'm not going to let stuff that's snide or snarky get under my skin because it's not meant for me, for me to be unhappy about that. If you're a hater or you're jealous or you're upset, keep that energy over there. And if they don't, I can't show that it's getting under my skin because it shouldn't be there. You know, so um, I'm not saying things don't get under my skin, but not as much, not as frequent as they, as they used to be, right? Um, so that's just how I knew. And, and, and overall, not being able to not let, being able to not let things get under your skin, being able to not let things get to you, being able to get over things quickly, and being able to not respond the way that you used to respond is going to save you a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety, and a lot of depression. Um, because you can go into a depressive state by wondering or trying to figure out why people treat you a certain type of way. Why would they say this? Why are they so mean? It doesn't even matter. Do you make yourself happy? And they're going to either fall in line or they don't. You can't make everyone your friend. People are not always supposed to be a part of your life forever. It's just a season in life and in time. And when you realize that you have to love yourself, um, people are going to come and go. And the God will send the right people your way. It may not be immediately. It may not be when you're 25. It may not be when you're 35. It could be when you're 39. It could be when you're 45. Just know. If you love yourself, if you can manage your feelings and your emotions, life is going to be less stressful. I'm not saying that you're not going to be stressed out. I'm not saying that you can't have anxious moments. But you're going to be able to get over things quickly and move on to the next task. And that's all, period.